show on outside me. Probably about. How cold do you think it is? I would say. I would say right around 30. Maybe a little less. Let's see how the mill starts up today. All right, cold start. First one of the day. No water. Don't need it. Right around 30 degrees below freezing for sure sitting for about two days without running um was able to get it started on basically the first pool but one of the problems i had with it was um, my line right here got frozen to my throttle and this line was i think frozen to here that's what it looked like or probably frozen just up in here so when trying to engage the throttle uh, i was having it wasn't engaging I was able to like really jam it in there and get it going, but uh, I probably wouldn't, I would do that if it's sitting out in the sun for a while, just go ahead and get it, get that ice broke. But if it's a little too cold, you probably will have to, I don't know, wait it out or if there's any other ideas, if anybody else has ran that problem, you know, kind of let us know. But for what I did, I just kind of waited out and jammed it in. I don't mind it sitting for a while, to be honest with you. I kind of like when it gets those blue streaks in it. The bugs come in there and beat her up. Get those little maggots or whatever. Y'all seen a few of those probably on the channel. Yeah, so with these, we'll make, try to get some two inch boards and then one inch boards. Um, and we'll make it for our, we're using it for the, I guess the, what is it? The support pieces for when we put our kitchen cabinets in. And that would look good. We're not putting them in. We have someone installing them, but we told them that we got the mill, so they don't have to buy anything from Lowe's or Home Depot, which will save us a buck or two. But in order to get that wood, we'll have to mill it up. So I'm debarking it to get any of this dirt to try to get most of this dirt and kind of like any rocks that have been in here, like sitting for a while because that really dulls the blade. So if you just, you know, take 10 minutes just to do it, it saves a lot of blades and gives you a lot more life. So it's a tedious thing to do, but luckily the bark's super wet and it comes off easy, but it's something that I just like to do and I kind of enjoy it to be honest. And it kind of gives you like a second or two to like, you know, just look at the log, you know, not rush into things. Yeah, all this dirt right here, it's like frozen. I enjoy like taking my time on a log now. I'm not trying to rush through it for like productivity. So 
that's better. One thing I do want to add, though, that'd be cool to, like, one day just have, like, you know, like, be able to get, like, like water somewhere where we can have, like, a water hose right here, you know? And just be able to hose all this dirt off, too. All right, let's get Millen. What do you say? I'm satisfied. Looks like a pretty decent log. Just from basically looking at it, even if you were like an amateur who had nothing to do with this log, it just looks good, don't it? Like this middle part, the heart isn't like up here or down here, it's right in the center. Should be able to start it without the choke, so we'll see. I had that bottle jack i would have raised it up a couple inches and it would have been all this kind of like you know a lot more thinner but just kind of doing it for an example to show you guys but this will still be good siding can use it for many things yeah that blue stain's really cool and we've uh we've planed a couple of them remember how it turned out like the mantle and stuff it looked really good once you plane it man it really like brightens it out it's cool
this up and we have this as a one inch board. Go to use that for something.